Hello there, it's Caroline here from UsefulGraphicDesignTutorials.com and welcome to another short video. And so here we are in iPicky.com that's the address there in the browser, iPicky.com and this is free software which is supported by ads. Sometimes they're a little bit more intrusive than others but the thing we want to focus on is this yellow button here which is Start Editing and that's how you get into iPicky. So click on the Start Editing button and the first step is to upload our image. And we do that by clicking the Upload Photo. And uh, mine is now here in Download, so double click on that and the image is uploaded. And we want to work with this in the dashboard and you can just double click on that image and we want to crop it to the correct size. Now this is a very large photo. It's 1920 by 1440 pixels, which is good. You always want to use, try and use the largest that you've got because it gives you more flexibility. And I want to use this on Pinterest and I want to make it 735 pixels wide by 1100 high. And the easiest way to do this is to crop it. So click on the crop picture and the actual size um, height, I want to make it 735 pixels by 1100. 1100. And that gives you the cropping area. And if you just drag your mouse uh, to place that cropping area to where you think it's going to pick out the best part of the photo, and I think I'm going to do that there. And then come back to the crop picture function and press apply. That crops it. That's very nice. Thank you. The third step is to put a background shape on and to do that we go over to this function here, it's called Blender, layers of photos adding text and stickers. So just click on that and then on to the vector sticker heart which gives us all the options for um, the various overlays and we're just going to keep it simple using the geometric and the square or rectangle click on that and it immediately appears on the desktop here and then you just drag the corners by the handles to the size that you want. I think I'm gonna, let's try, let's start off at least with that. The fourth step is just to make that the correct colour that you want, it's black at the moment and if you use this slider here it will take it from light to dark and I'm going to I think just pick out using this colour picker something from the photo so click on that and then hit somewhere here like that and then you can darken it a little bit like that and then if you want to reduce the, t the opacity or increase the transparency slide the fade button there and I think that's probably going to be enough and then the fifth step is to put your text on just simply click on the add text button there's a little box here where you put your text in so I'm going to put good artists copy, that's one line, and I'm going to make that white, and here's the colour function. Click on that box, again you've got the slider, I'm just going to move that up to the top there, so that's the white. You would simply move this little here to change the colour, but I want white, and then I'm going to select the font here which is going to be base 5. That needs to be reduced somewhat so just grab hold of the handle in the corner and so that's sitting there. I think I've spelled that wrong. Yes, copy. Just go back to the text box and change it. And I want another text box so I hit the add text button again and the second piece is great. Artists steel. Do the same thing, make that white, change the font to base 05 and then resize it by grabbing hold of the handle in the corners. There we go. And then we want a third line of text for the person, uh, credit the person who said that and that was Pablo Picasso. Again, I want that in white. And this time I want to use Steel Fish as the font because it's it's nice and narrow, if you like. 
Okay, so we just pop that there. I want to make this blue background slightly smaller, so I'm just going to grab hold of the handle and move that up. That looks pretty centered. The reason why I've chosen this as a Pinterest image is that it's tall and they stand out really well. But the last step is to save that and we need to combine the layers first of all and you simply click on the tick button here and then go up to save name it Picasso quote I usually uh, use the slider up to the 100% quality for the best quality of photo. You can save in JPEG or PNG, but I use JPEG for uh, an ordinary photograph like this. And then save to the computer and put it in download, save. And you can continue editing if you want, which I don't want to. Good artist copy, great artist steal. And that's your very simple overlay in six steps. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.